Okay, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to make a flying banner. Let me uh, rewind it and show you. Okay, this is what I'll show you how to do. You like the one that uh, fly behind an airplane. Okay, so and then this is not very hard to do. I'm using my end cloth to to show you how to do it. Okay, so let me stop this. Okay, so let me show you. Let me close this. Let me create a new file. Don't save. Okay, first of all, you need to go into Polygon uh, Shelf. Click on this one. Then I'm going to drag it like this. Hit Control A or make sure that you see um, you're in the channel box and make sure you see this one, Polyplane. Select both these and middle mouse drag it over like this around to 8 and then select the, the width and change to 16 ok now once you've done, done that you press the letter E for rotate move it 90 degree it should be 90 ok now I'm going to do is I'm going to move it hit W and move it up Next I'm going to do is uh, delete the history, go edit, delete by type, history, and I'm going to freeze transform also, modify, freeze transform. After that, okay, next thing I'm going to do is um, convert this one to uh, Maya end cloth. Make sure in the in the end dynamics, and have the object selected, go into end mesh, and you hit uh, create, end me uh, create end cloth. Okay, now I'm going to select like this. Whenever you select the cloth, you you um you will be selecting the nucleus. Okay, I'm so uh, I'm going to hit Control H to hide it. Again, I'm going to select both of these and hold on Control and deselect the cloth. Okay, now this one selected. I'm going to Control H to hide it again because it's much easier for me to select the cloth and without anything selected. Like so I'm going to right click, choose vertex, select only these vertex vertices, and then under constraint, choose transform, and make sure I have 5000 frames, and I'm going to click this guy right here, and on the time slider, usually dynamics you want to run it in real time, uh, not real time, but every frame, but but if you try to play every frame, it's going to be very fast. So I'm going to pick a uh, real time. Hit save. So now if I rewind, hit play. That's what it's going to look like. So I'm going to change the settings. Okay. Make sure you select the cloth. And then go into attribute editor. Okay. Just leave the default. Let's go into nucleus. The nucleus is, is the... Um, the engine that controls the Maya dynamics. Okay, now you scroll down to here. Okay. First of all, okay, it's dropping down because of the gravity right here. See negative one, so I'm gonna put it to negative point one, and I'm gonna push the gravity along the x-axis. I'm gonna make it two or three. Okay, and this one you could make it a little bit like let's say point one. And so now if I hit rewind and play, that's what it looks like, okay? And the next is uh, the density. I could add a little bit more wind speed. Okay, right now the wind speed is going the X direction. Okay, let's say increase more wind speed. Like that, you don't see much. Okay, now uh, later on I will add another wind, sp wind field, which is right here, air. Okay, now what's the difference between this one and this one? I'll show you. Okay, if I increase this wind speed right here for the nucleus, really high. You see how it wobbles like a fish tail with that? So that's what happened. So I'm going to reduce it down to anything less than uh, 10. Okay, that's good enough. And make sure you hit rewind. Hit stop first and then rewind. Because if you don't do that, if you play and you try hit rewind, it's going to act way weird, okay? So, um, 
The next thing I'm going to do is again select it. Make sure the cough is selected. Go into field, add air. Pick air right here. I'm going to move it over here. Okay, make sure the, the wind, wind or the air is still selected. Right now it's the magnitude is 4. I'm going to increase to 17. Hit enter. Atten uh, attenuation meaning if it's one then it only affect a certain area a very small area for example if hit play rewind play see it only affects a small area if I go down to zero then it will affect the whole much bigger area okay and it's rising up because right here it's one again I'm gonna put negative point one okay now watch what happens if I don't stop it and I rewind it see how it becomes really weird so make sure you stop first and rewind so hit play like that ok again I'm going to um, change the direction in the x, x axis I'm going to give it 1 like that and then I'm going to hit rewind and play let me go into shader mode press number 5 and then I'm going to go shading wireframe on shading so if I rewind and play, that's what it looks like. Okay. <coughs> the next thing I'm going to do is add the turbulence. Select the cough. Go into field. Add turbulence. I'm going to move it over here. Okay, magnitude I'm going to change to let's say 50. Again, I want to affect the whole area. So I'm going to change to 0. Hit rewind and play again. Now that's what it looks like. Okay, now let me show you something interesting. If I change this frequency for the turbulence to zero, that's how you can make it the the flag to drop down. Okay, now if I increase it more than see how when I the moment I increase it. Okay, it becomes like that. Make sure you hit rewind and stop and rewind now play again now make sure, and if you go too high okay sometimes it's, I keep it around 10 to 12 like that okay now <coughs> another thing is let's say if um okay let me rewind again what you do is, is select this one and, and go into the end curve and hit interactive play playback playback so now I can with the move tool and this one selected I can move anywhere I want to like that now let's say if you want it to be more stiffer what you do let me stop it rewind select the curve <coughs> and go into the shape node and then you can increase the uh, with jiggity, I will make it only to 0 0.06 and then rewind and play see now it become more stiffer but don't make it too hard you can make it 0 0.12 because you want it to look like more realis realistic banner you know, rather than a stiff uh, object so 0 0.06 or if you don't want it you can also go down to 0 or 0 0.01 the way you still behave like a piece of uh, flag okay and then what I would do is um, okay make sure you hit if, if you ch if right now you f you are anything away from 0 or 1 and if you try to move this one it will not move you have to rewind it and then once you rewind it then you can move the flag anywhere you want okay so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to sh select both of these shift select the parent and hit the letter P for parenting so now wherever this one goes these two go also go let me move it closer so select the um, the constraint node right here locate it and hit the interactive playback and make sure you need the move tool before you hit this one so now I can uh, move it anywhere and they would go along 
Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to uh, put the texture on here. Again, always rewind first. And then watch, if I move this one without rewinding and I just hit play, see how it moves down? So that's why make sure you always rewind. So now I'm going to apply texture. I'm going to select this one. Um, I can go into the hyper shape or I can hold on shift T and click the blend. Okay, now it's a blend assigned to it. Now I go go into window, rendering editor and hyper shape. Okay, so if let's say you want to know if this object has a texture assigned you all you do is select it and click on this icon right here and I know it's the blend is assigned to it now here's gonna be a problem <coughs> if you assign let me show you the wrong way of assigning a texture so let me, let me double click the blend right here click on the checkerboard next to color go into file and make sure you, you're not in the 2d placement but the file tab and you see this yellow folder, click on it. So I'm going to get a picture. Okay, let's say I get this picture. Okay, so right now I know there's a texture assigned to here, but how come I don't see it? Press 6, and go back. 6, I still don't see it. I can show it to you right now. So if I click on the blend and I go into input output connection so if I double click this guy right here and let's say I move the texture around um, let me do the offset right here hold on control left mouse drag see it right there so I know there's a texture to it let me put back to zero so the question how come it's not here but it's hiding that's because of the uh, protection so let's say if you selected the piece of cloth right now and you go into polygon mode and then you go into create UVs playing a mapping and you click in the option box so right now it's I want to project along the z-axis so I'm going to choose z-axis hit project so now I see it right right click choose option mode once you do that, right click and choose object mode. So you just click outside it to deselect it. So now it looks all fine, right? However, watch this. If I select the the uh, transform constraint and go to move the move tool and I hit the interactive playback, it looks everything fine, but the moment I move it, you see how it's moving? It looks weird, right? That's because I'll show you how to correct it. Let me stop it, rewind it. 